what's left of my snowman. <coughs> he's, he's almost gone. The snowman's almost gone. Almost all that snow is gone, you guys. <laughs> the weather this winter has been strange. Yeah, it has. But the greenhouse worked out great. Yeah, it did. Um, just got done grooming Mozzie. Yes, you look so handsome. He got groomed. He hated it. Every second of it. <laughs> um, I was going to try to do two dogs today, but I can only really do one dog a day now. Um, I'm getting old. <laughs> I'm getting old. Well, and plus, uh, having to take care of Grant, who's stuck back here. You see him? He's stuck back there in the corner just doing circles. He sometimes comes up and then he turns back around and does circles. It's getting pretty bad. I um I wanted to come on. <coughs> oh my goodness. <coughs> oh my goodness. Excuse me. Um I recorded some video um the other day. Um, to kind of show you guys what uh, has been happening with Mr. Grant. Um, I know you guys know he did big circles around the house. He would do his circles through the two, through the front of the house to the back and then back through the front. Because my house is kind of like a circle in there. If you've been watching, you know what I'm talking about. Um, but he's gotten to where he's staying. Um, yeah more in a small space during doing circles. He doesn't do that big circle anymore. Um, you'll see what I'm talking about when the, the uh, I put the video here in a second. Um, like right now, he's still out there. He's just doing his circles in that one area there. Um, It's, it's getting worse. Um, so I didn't really want to share video of his bad times, but a lot of you wondered, a lot of you don't know about doggy dementia. You never had a dog with it. So I thought I'd share a little, and I may repeat some of this at the end of the video. Cause I videotaped it the other last night, last night I, I videotaped it. Um, but I never did an intro of the video because I just started filming him. Um, just because I felt like I need to share with you what's going on with him. So, um, yeah. So let me put those clips of him in the house. And this is in, in these clips is basically what he does in the house all day. Um, Mr. Grant has lost, um, a lot of his personality just like patients, older people with dementia. He plays, he doesn't play with toys at all. He doesn't take toys to his crate anymore. He doesn't even go in his crate anymore. Um, he doesn't do his hip hoppity run out here anymore. Um, he doesn't really bark anymore. Um, he used to bark when people would come home or he'd bark when the other dogs were barking at squirrels out the front window. He used to look out the front window. Um, he doesn't do any of that anymore. He just basically um, does his circles all day. So I think my husband and I are going to get through the rest of this week, through the weekend, and really talk about this because... Mr. Grant's not living his best life anymore. He's very confused a lot. And like I said, he's getting a little more aggressive. When you, when I try to pick him up to take him outside, he'll swing his head up and almost bite my chin. Um, cause he's confused. He's not doing it to be mean. He's just, he's confused. You see, he's just in that corner back there. That's why I got the greenhouse. Um, because if it was snowy and messy, he'd just be stuck out there in the snow. <laughs> if it was snowy, because I, I got to trudge out there and get him. So 
it's easier for me if it's snowy to grab him out of the greenhouse after he goes potty. And like I said, he's also, when I'm carrying him outside, he'll just start pooping when I'm carrying him. And if I didn't have a diaper on him, he would pee on me um, carrying him outside. So I don't want any negative comments, you guys. I'm just sharing this to kind of, because my videos, I kind of make informative on what's going on with my dog's medical um, issues that, that they've had throughout their life as well. And this is just another um, thing going on. So, all right, I'm gonna put the video I shot yesterday here at the end. Hope everybody's having a great week and we'll talk to you guys again soon. Bye. Well, I was sitting here eating my breakfast and heard some noise and turned around to find Grant trapped under the dining room table. So I need to save him. We gotta save him, Max. So, um, when Grant does his circles like that, um, it wears him out and I only let him do it for so long. Um, and then I bring him out here usually and put him on one of these dog beds because he will not get on dog beds by himself. I don't think he ever had a dog bed in his life. I'm not sure, but he's never wanted to sleep on dog beds. Uh, the only place he would sleep uh, on a dog bed was the dog bed in his crate. Um, and he doesn't really go in his crate anymore either. Um, he just gets stuck doing those circles. Um, it's a very sad, um, and I hate to share it, but so many people have asked about this, um, because I do share what happens in my dog's lives, um, and their medical issues as well. Um, and it's very sad that Grant is going through this and um, my husband and I know that Mr. Grant's life is at the end stages. Um, he probably doesn't have much longer um, and we're going to have to make that decision sooner than we want to probably um that's no way for a dog to live oh sorry guys that's no way for a dog to live just doing circles all day long and just waiting to eat dinner or breakfast because he does still get excited for dinner and breakfast um like I said, he will not drink out of a water dish anymore. He will not drink water. Um, it started probably six months ago, five, six months ago. Um, so we have to add the water to his dry food, like I mentioned before, to make sure he's staying hydrated. Um, 
It's just that he's snoring now. I can hear him. He's lightly snoring because he's worn out. He'll lay on a bed if I put him in the bed and I and I pet him for a while till he falls asleep. And then he's just out. And he lays there and snores and sleeps soundly. Um, the dogs will bark at someone walking by and he doesn't move a muscle. Hi, Miggy. <laughs> Did you hear me talking to our friends so you had to come see what was going on? <laughs> oh... It's just tough. It's tough. Um, but like I said, that's not living your best dog life. Going in circles. I was out um, cleaning up the yard today and um, I stood there and I was looking at the yard because the snow was melting fast today. And I was looking at the snow and I could see Grant's circles outside. His footprints they're almost like perfect circles it's amazing <coughs> excuse me and uh, I wish I could like take a picture from above to show you guys but his circles are like perfect circles out there <laughs> um, yeah anyways I just I just wanted to share I know a lot of people are wondering what I meant when he goes in circles um, because they've never had a dog that has dealt with um, doggy dementia. Um, so, anyways. Alright guys, I'm going to get going. It's about 6.10. I've got to go clean up from dinner. And um, he'll probably sleep. I bet you he'll sleep for probably an hour or two. Um... So I need to get some stuff done while he's sleeping because as you can see from the video, um, you have to keep an eye on him because he will get, like I said, he's gotten trapped under my dining room table. He's gotten trapped um, behind our big couch out in the other, in the living room. Um, so you've got to constantly keep an eye on him and make sure he's okay. So, um, all right guys, we'll talk to you guys again soon. Bye-bye.